Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So today I welcome you from a standing position. Um, it is time to do my shop my stash. So if you're interested in seeing what I'll be choosing uh, to use um, in my everyday makeup bag uh, for the month of September, then just keep on watching. Okie dokie, so let's start off with a primer and I automatically see what I want to use. Uh, this is the Too Faced Hangover X Replenishing Face Primer and as you can see I don't have much of it left so I would like to work on it a little bit more and maybe hopefully uh, use it up um, by the end of the year. That will be such an achievement. Then I have the foundation that I had uh, last month. This is the uh, Makeup Revolution Conceal and define uh, foundation now I had already taken out the stopper as you can see and it's basically empty basically I can I can this focus on this yeah it's a basically empty but there's still a little bit of it left so I'm actually going to keep this foundation in uh, for another like until I finish it but I'm also going to add another foundation just in case I finish that Makeup Revolution one uh, quicker than I expected. So I am going to use or I am going to add the Too Faced Peach a Perfect Foundation. This is quite new in my collection. I do really enjoy it. I have my one in the shade Vanilla and I think it's going to actually be the perfect color for now because I have a little bit of a tan. Uh, so I think this, this is going to uh, work fairly well for me. Okay, in terms of concealers, I have one new concealer, uh, last new concealer that I need to try, that I haven't used before, and it is this one. This is the La Cora Radiant uh, Concealer, so this is supposed to be a dupe for the uh, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I, ha I got it in little, even the packaging is so similar. So, I have my one in the shade Creme, I hope you'll be able to see that focuses yeah uh, so yeah uh, this is brand new unopened and it will be the first time um, or I'll be using it for the first time this month so yeah, super super exciting this is going to be in oh, in my speed reviews later on in terms of powders I only have two powders I have my Huda Beauty which is here and I also have my Rimmel Stay Matte which as you can see I have massive pan on it already so yeah this is you know one out of the two powders that I own so this is going into my rotation this month and then uh, for brows obviously I have my cabrow that I'm working on still it's going well okay let me show you a little bit of progress on it um so basically this is all that I have left now I have been having to revive it every so often because it does get dry so you know a part of me is thinking maybe I should just declutter it and buy a new one but the panner in me is like no I can finish it up but I think what I'm going to do is if by the end of uh, the year I don't finish it which is unlikely anyway I'm going to just toss it and repurchase a new uh, pomade probably the AB8 one yeah it seems like a nice step up I guess or not even a step up just um, a nice change but for brow um, gel just take them out um, these are the brow gels that I own and most of them were in rotation not too long ago these are these two our new ones unopened yet so I won't be touching them in the near future until I finish some of these uh, but this one hasn't been in rotation for a while this is the Catrice Brow Colorist uh, semi permanent mascara apparently uh, this is what the brush looks like as you can see there there is a little bit of product still left there on the on the brush so yeah this is nowhere near being done uh, but yeah hopefully 
hopefully one of the days now the one that i had last month which was the essence make me brow that seems very close to being done but there's still a little bit left so maybe one or two more rotations and then i'll be able to toss it but for now it's this one that we'll be using um in September okay time to choose some cream cheek products obviously for my cream um, bronzer I'm going to be using the La Ritzy Aloha stick uh, this is very much up on its last leg this is all that's left but I can't seem to be able to just finish it off so hopefully this month is the month then for my cream uh, blush, I'm going to use this Absolute New York Blush Balm in the shade Razzle, I think. Yes, in the shade Razzle. And yeah, I have a little bit more of this one left. But let me just show you how the actual color looks like. It's an okay product, honestly. It's just all right. Nothing um, spectacular, but it does the job. Plus, I'm using my Project Pan lipstick as my cream blush recently. Anyway, so this is just going to be like, you know, an additional one. One that I would use if I am feeling a little bit bored of the... Um, of my wet and wild lipstick as my blush basically and then for my highlighter i am going to be using this one this is the essence insta perfect liquid highlighter uh, i am very close to finishing it i have less than half of it left so a couple of more rotations and i think this would be um one that will leave my collection maybe by the end of the year maybe i'm hopeful um uh, but we'll see but yeah this is going back here so that we can use it hi there <laughs> in terms of um powder bronzer i want to use this one because this wasn't in rotation for a very very long time this is my mark jacobs uh i don't even remember what it's called omega bronze in the shade fantastic so this is what it looks like as you can see i have pan on it because it was in my whole collection project pan i think at the beginning of the year so yeah i have nice decent pan going on here but uh i like the color i like everything about it so i do want to put this back into rotation and use it again then for blush now that is a very very um Difficult question because I have so many blushes, but let me just take a look at what we have here. Hmm. What do we have here? We have an awful lot of blushes. <laughs> but I think the blush that I want to use this time around... Oh, I haven't used that ever. I was planning to um, use the Gold Benefit Gold Rush highlighter, which looks like this, but I actually received the Seattle London Matchmaker highlight, um, blush, that's a blush, this is also a blush, in my recent, um, what do you call it, look fantastic box, and I had not used it yet, so, if I can open it, so yeah, this is what it uh, looks like, I had just swatched it, honestly, but yeah, I, hmm, this is going to be very, very fun to use, I think, because I hadn't used a Ciate powder product ever. So this is going to be very, very nice to do. And then for my powder highlighter, I don't think I am going to choose any because I have my, if I can find it here. I, in my whole collection project pan, I have my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Hollywood fil fil Film Star Bronze and Glow, whatever. Um, this highlighter in my project pan. So, yeah, this is, uh, I think I won't be choosing another highlight until I actually hit my goal on it. Okay, then, uh, eye products. So, let's choose. Sorry, my dog is being a little rascal, you know um oh no look at this this shattered oh flip okay i think i'm gonna have to put it aside so that i can repress it okay this is almost finished but i had it for two months in my rotation so i'm okay for now but the one that i didn't have in rotation for a long long time is this one this is the forgive me Susie liquid uh eyeshadow and i have my one in the shade fairy dust uh, so 
yeah, a beautiful kind of copper shade. Uh, yeah, so that's good. In and then uh, eyeliners. So this is where I have all of my eyeliners. Um, I have this new black one, but I don't want to use a black one for now. I think I will take this pink one. Sure, why not? So this is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Life in Pink. Beautiful, just basic pink eyeliner. And I can't use them in my waterline because I think they're expired. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm actually using them on my upper uh, lash line to kind of, you know, do a fake wink, let's say. That's what I use them for. <laughs> yeah, I need to use them up and then toss them or not even toss them, but just, you know, use them up and buy new ones. Okay, in terms of lip products, now I don't necessarily have much of a choice because my whole collection project pan almost entirely consists of um, freaking lip products. <laughs> so the only thing that I can play around with for now are lip glosses. And I don't have a lot of lip glosses. This was in uh, my project, not in, in my shop, my stash last month. But this is uh, brand new to me. This is the Victoria's Secret uh, Satin Glass that I had received from a friend of mine. Uh, yeah, so I haven't used it before, so this can go in to try. But I think that actually completes today's video. Hello, I'm here and I've actually clean, cleaned the mirror. You know, are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, yeah, that completes today's video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, don't forget to give this video a like. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.